Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the words and language we use every day. My name is Benjamin Lewis, and this week I'm making a quick video to help promote a website that I think is absolutely brilliant and I've been really enjoying. Dissent, verb, to hold or express views and opinions that disagree with those prevailing in their society. History and etymology. Dissent comes from a word that I've recently discovered. I hadn't even thought about this word existing, but I love it. It's dissensus, the opposite of consensus, when people disagree. Consisting of two parts, dis from Latin meaning different, and sentire meaning to think or feel, to think or feel differently. The census came into English from French after the Norman Conquest. The root of the word centire stretches all the way back through Latin to the reconstructed Proto-Indo-European word cent. This word is the ancestor of many words throughout many European languages, including Germanic ones like English. Just like it sounds, it's also the distant root of words like send, like to send a message. The Proto-Indo-European word sent meant literally to go or to find your way. And in the Germanic language family, the word maintained a very literal meaning, to travel, to go from place to place to find a way. And in the Latin and Romance languages, it took on a more metaphorical sense, including like sensing or sensation. Now, I know I might be stretching it a little bit, but this convergence of sending, like of messages and disagreeing, brings me to what I really wanted to try and promote with this video. The center. Let's take a look at it. Prescription and commentary. Okay. So, this dissenter program add-on extension for, for Chrome or for many other web browsers is great. You can literally comment on any web page, including individual tweets, on individual Twitter like profile pages. I almost wish there was a way I could like follow and see if anyone ever comments on mine. I'm going to like my own page. This is what else is cool. You can like things on here. And it's got its own like trending thing for the entire internet. And so you can come in here and you can right here on YouTube videos. We can dissent these YouTube videos. There's already some here. I love this guy, your boy Zach. Now, the thing that I've liked most about this app is literally the homepage here. It's got stuff that's trending. Like right now, it's got the Tim Pool video about Jordan Peterson being banned in New Zealand. And it, it's not just social media stuff you can comment on. I mean, even while I'm doing research, I could be commenting here. In fact, I should probably do that. I should probably go to all of my sources, and I could link to my video from the sources, as well as linking from my sources, or from my video thing, to the sources themselves. This is great. There's all sorts of stuff that can be done with this. Now... One thing I am going to do for this particular video, just because I'm getting it out quick and I want to do it an experiment, I'm going to turn off comments for this video. And I'm just going to do all of the comments through the center. So you can go to the webpage, thecenter.com, sign up for a Gab account, get the Decenter app, and comment on this video through the through the app. Give it a try. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You put it on your computer, you get there, and you don't like it, you delete it. It's fine. So, 
one thing that I've also noticed and I've been having been enjoying about it is when you're like if you say you're using it on your phone you can actually copy or like even when you're on YouTube here on your phone in the YouTube app you can go to share you can copy the short little URL and then take it to the dissenter page and it brings up all of the dissenter comments for that video so you can still comment on it on your phone. Now I really hope they do come out with a mobile app for this that simplifies this process, but it works great even as it is this way. I'm really surprised how well it works. And then you even get notifications about people liking or commenting on your messages that you've posted on different things. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you all go give the center a try. Right now, it's pretty much Gab users, but this is something that I think everybody should be using. I don't... But whichever side of the political compass you're on, this is going to be important for the future. So, thank you. I'll see you next time. And until then, keep on learning.